Let's talk about artificial intelligence, our favorite topic. We've been covering oh, this three weeks, every, sure. every week for the last month. Um, who will ultimately win the AI war between Microsoft and Google? Um, it's going to be a spirited race. Um, I think Google jumped out too early trying to come up with a competitor for ChatGPT. Long term, I think Google has a very good chance to be dominant in the space. But I think for the next two years, Microsoft is going to have an, an aggressive handle on um, this first iteration or first season of AI for sure. Um, <clears throat> I put it, I told Stock Club last week, like, there's a, write this down, the law of leadership is really important. So in branding, the person who does the, the thing first and puts the most money behind it usually is the person that's known for the thing. So like when you think of electronic vehicle, um, even though the Prius came out first, we now think of Tesla, right? They had more marketing dollars, better CEO, better product. So chat GPT is like the most dominant force in AI right now. I do love that Google CEO came out guns blazing and put investment resources and human capital behind the project. But if you look at the name of it, Bard, terrible name, they launched it too fast and they didn't work all the bugs out of it. it caused, and I know last week everyone was reporting that it caused the stock to drop. Um, that wasn't the sole reason why the price dropped, but it was not a good presentation. They didn't blow it out of the water. So I think in maybe three or four years, um, Google probably will get a competitive advantage, but over the next two, Microsoft is going to have a stranglehold on AI for sure. So I would uh, invest in Microsoft long term, but I do still like Google. There are other players who are trying to come up in the space, but those are the two that I will lean on heavily. Then the dark horse in that space will be NVIDIA for sure. Yeah. I like what you said with the word seasons, because I, when, I, when I, the question was posed, I thought about it as seasons. But more so of a, if it's a battle, think of it in terms of a fight, right? And so fights have rounds. Mm -hmm. And so this is gonna be a round by round basis. So I would say right now, round one, we, go to, we gotta give Microsoft the advantage. Just because that Google has had a dominance in the search space for so long. Obviously nobody even thinks of Bing when they think of search, but the fact that they got J chat GBT, um, obviously from the investment with OpenAI, it changed the conversations over the past definitely the past two months, it has been exactly that. It's been about what Microsoft is doing with Bing and how there's such a difference in the search engines. Obviously using yeah. you know verbal commands, that, that changes the game. Now, Google's response, probably not the greatest, right? Even they had executives saying like, we rushed this, this is more of a response. Yes, we were working on the technology, but because Microsoft got so far ahead and ChatGPT was dominating everything in the AI space, they responded with yeah. Bard. There's still a lot of flaws with Bard, right? Right now, Too right? Many. Like even the, the way that it's computing, the way that it's answering, it's not. It's not even competitive at this point. So if we're going round by round, we got to give round one to Microsoft. But this could be a. T I mean, these are heavyweights, right? This is like a. This is going to be a twelve round fight. So round one, I'm giving to Microsoft. I'm not Google. I'm sure we'll we'll have a comeback. But like you said, there's going to be sleepers inside of this, and I think that other sleeper is going to be Amazon, right? So when, when you. When you, you it, it, no, no, I said when when you think of like tech giants and you think about search, I feel Amazon's in 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 a, a space obviously from having the cloud computing from becoming from an ad standpoint, they somehow can create inside of this space and be one of those like hit like with a haymaker like oh nobody thought that was coming, right? Because it's cool when it's, everybody's in the space and they're doing their own thing and it's like all right, what is the competition doing? How can we? add to that space, how we can how can we disrupt it, how can we add value to the space. I think they're watching it, and I think they're saying, all right, well, that worked for them, this didn't work for them, here's gonna be our iteration. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Amazon step into space and become another competitor and make it a three-man race. It's really important to um, not compete head on. It's like if you have Jordans, you don't want Reeboks with a patent leather design to look like the 11s like if they are going to be in the ai space they're going to have to make tech search better um maybe google maps better with ai but they, they can't compete head on like chat gpt has so much funding behind it and especially with elon being a part of it um you can't compete head on like it's a good lesson in branding 
um, and in marketing. Like you never want to have anyone compare your brand or product versus anyone else's. You want to be on the island by yourself. A good book, please write this down. Uh, the Blue Ocean Strategy is a great book on this topic. But you want to make sure that when people think of you, they think of you in a silo and not you and 15 other people. All right. Well, what do you guys think? Put it in the comments in YouTube. Um, what do you guys think about this situation? We will monitor it, keep tabs on it, and uh, report back weekly. My graduates from my school being Forbes, bag drop. Bag drop. <laughs> Mic drop. Bag drop. Bag drop. <laughs>